Hello everybody, C-Slug here, and I have another X and Y uh, battle for you guys. I actually have like, uh, let me see here, I think I have like two other battles and then another... I don't know, I have, a, I have a, like a bit of a collection of battles that I can upload. So that, I, I've honestly have never had that happen to me where I have actually have like a little uh, bit of a backup or like a uh, stockpile of battles to upload. So that definitely shows that a lot of people are playing this game. However, I do still want, po you know, Pokegen because then a hell of a lot more people will be playing this game. And and then I can like, you know, we can all just enjoy the metagame because the metagame, I honestly think it should be like uh, on Pokemon Showdown where you get to try out everything. So that's enough, of, that's enough of me complaining about not having Pokegen. Anyway, let's get on with this match. I'm gonna, lead, I'm gonna be leading off with my uh, brand new poke that I uh, EB trained. This is a uh, shiny golem that my sister caught as a grappler. It had a uh, speed reducing nature that increased its special defense and had stealth rocks. So I thought, hmm, sturdy stealth rocks. It doesn't, it doesn't have a nature that reduces a, uh, you know, a stat that's too important. Why not just use it? And uh, it also learned explosion. So sometimes I can, you know, live a hit with sturdy and then go. Well, that didn't do shit. I mean, yeah, I'm guessing they didn't unnerf Explosion in 6th gen, so... Explosion is still pretty useless. I'm probably gonna, uh, you know, end up fixing that up later. Maybe just getting rid of that Graveler in general. I mean, I only really trained it because it was uh, shiny, so... Anyway, he's gonna use the uh, Spiky Shield as I go for the Fake Out. I'm not really too worried about that just because, uh... Just because I'm, I have Regenerator on this Mianchao, so I am gonna be able to uh, get up all my HP. Uh, I went for U-turn, I got a crit, it did quite a nice, uh, quite a lot of uh, damage there, and I was thinking maybe I should just stay in and go for the, uh, go for the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, poison jab, but I didn't want to risk it since I did get a, uh, bulk up up, so its attack was probably going to be more than enough to, uh, finish off me and me and show, so I ended up switching out into my, uh, Sylveon, as such, just send it in there and then just finish this thing off. I get a crit, which, you know, obviously just doesn't matter, and uh, he ends up bringing his Assumeral onto uh, this thing, which I'm really not too worried about. I mean, he he would have to, he would either just go for the Aqua Jet or just set up a uh, Belly Drum, which he ends up not doing any of that. He actually just goes for the uh, Waterfall, and I'm guessing he had the ability. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if he had the ability uh, Heavy Power or something like that, but. If it did, then, you know, it used the waterfall a little bit too late, but anyway, I'm just gonna bring in my Arcanine. Gonna get that Intimidate there, and, uh, this right here is my, uh, other new Pokemon that I, uh, made. Just gonna go for the E-Speed, take out that Azumarill, and I was honestly worried that I probably wouldn't be able to, uh, take it out with the E-Speed, just because it's, a uh, jolly-natured Arcanine. And I don't think it had the, uh, I don't think it had, like, 31 EVs in, uh, attack. I'm pretty sure I probably have like 248 uh, EBs in attack. So uh, he's just gonna send out his uh, Alakazam. I'm trying to think about what to do here. I decided to just, you know, go for an E speed and, you know, just get some damage off this thing. He'll probably just finish me off in one hit. Maybe I might live one, maybe I won't. But uh, my King Rock's act, my King Rock actually ends up activating. So. I don't know, I was thinking about, maybe I shouldn't use the King Rock, but then on the other hand, it's like, I don't have any other items, like, I really don't have any, uh, you know, battle items, I mean, to, uh, get the, uh, Choice Scarf, the, uh, Choice Band, you know, those items, you have to, like, uh, pay up 48 battle points in the mansion, which, all you really have to do is get up to, uh, battle 20 and you should have it, but, you know, I didn't really have that, but anyway... He's gonna switch out into the sword. I should have seen that coming. I honestly should have predicted that. Uh, he's gonna switch out to uh, take in, to uh, take the E speed, and then he can just outspeed me and go for the uh, Shadow Sneak on my uh, Arcanine to take it out. I don't want my Arcanine to uh, get finished off. I honestly still see some uh, use in it, so I decided to just switch into my uh, Blastoise Mega Evolve and then go for the uh, Surf. And he ends up going for the uh, King Shield, which this sword is so freaking annoying. I honestly just want this thing dead. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Surf, 
it's not gonna do well it's not it didn't really do much and then it insults me by uh, going into it into its battle form when you know it's attacking me so that's pretty annoying I should probably train one but I, I can honestly see uh, you needing some like skill to uh, use this thing but anyway this stupid king shield man oh my god so goddamn annoying honestly anyway uh, I go for a surf right here I am gonna get some damage every all the damage I can get on this thing is gonna be like really helpful especially for uh, later on because uh, later on I'm pretty much gonna be struggling to uh, take this thing out so anyway he's gonna find the I know he wait he doesn't I was gonna say he finally takes out my uh, blast toys but yeah that en ends up living but he does end up just you know killing it with uh, shadow sneak so in comes my Agudra kind of just hoping that I can uh, take this thing out with like a thunderbolt or something but no he's gonna he's gonna preserve his uh, his, uh what the hell is that thing's name honestly like I see it all over the place but I don't know his name but anyway I'm just gonna go for the thunderbolt as he uh, switch is in, switches in his uh, sixth gen butterfly it's gonna get raped by rocks and then it's gonna you know just get finished off of my thunderbolt so anyway in comes his own Gudra and uh, don't know what his uh, Gudra's like EV spread is, but mine, like I, I think I've said this, but mine is uh, close to max HP and then the rest just goes into its special defense and uh, special attack and it has a calm nature so I am able to uh, take on those uh, dragon pulses from him pretty well and then he ends up uh, taking half damage or over half damage from mine. So my Gudra is definitely going to be able to win this Gudra battle here. So anyway, I... You know, I survived the second Dragon Pulse, but I'm at a pretty low amount of HP. That's, I don't know, that's kind of the drawback from Gudra. I mean, I wish I could learn, I, I wish I could see what moves it learns. Because it might have a recovery move, because like a recovery move would definitely be helpful. Because uh, all this thing really is able to do is, you know, tank a, hup, tank, a hup, uh, tank a couple hits and then retaliate. But once the uh, next Pokemon comes in, it's pretty much going to be at a weak amount of HP like uh, it was right now. So anyway, the nice thing about Gudra is that it's a bit, it has two really good abilities. It has a uh, GUI, which uh, lowers your opponent's speed if they go for a physical move on you. And then it has, uh, what's it called? It has Sap Zipper, so you know, you're pretty much immune from all grass attacks. So I see a bunch of people just going for the GUI ability, which I have to admit is a lot better. But anyway, he's going to... Uh, God damn it, this stupid thing, he's gonna lower my attack. I mean, I didn't really have any other options. I suppose I could have gone for the fake out and maybe not have lost some of my attack and that probably would have been enough to take this thing out. But uh, I really don't have any other moves I can hit it with. If I have a fake out, which, you know, it's not gonna do anything since it's a ghost type. It's a ghost type, so Hydron Peak isn't, isn't gonna do anything and then... Uh, Poison Jab isn't going to do anything, so I, all I can really do is just go for the U-turn. Uh, and uh, unfortunately for me, Regenerator isn't going to be enough for me to uh, survive those Shadow Sneaks. So he's definitely going to go for another Shadow Sneak on my Arcanine. And I was thinking maybe I should just let this thing, maybe I should just let it stay in here and, you know, just take the hit. So that way I can get in my Mian Chow. But uh, I, after that, I kind of realized, oh wait, he still has that uh, Alakazam. And I'm pretty sure Alakazam in its Mega Form would be faster than my uh, Mian Chao. And I probably wouldn't get the chance to uh, send the Mian Chao onto his Alakazam in order to get the uh, Fake Out priority. So if I didn't preserve my Arcanine, I probably wasn't going to be able to uh, win the match. So I I was just like, well, I kind of have to take this thing out with my Arcanine still intact. But, yeah, anyway, I'm going to be down to my Arcanine now. I'm going to get, like, another Intimidate on this thing. So he's at, like, minus two. And he's just going to go into a shield form. My attack's going to get lowered. And, you know, next turn he's pretty much is just going to outspeed me with the uh, priority shadow. So he can just take me out. So... Yeah, that was a pretty good Lowe's game. This is like my first battle using, you know, just more than one uh, EV train poke. So, anyway, I have a uh, nice stockpile of a battle. So, expect a battle for me every day for, you know, a nice good long time. Maybe not every day. I might miss a couple days. But still, I should be able to upload uh, consistent consistently. And uh, I have uh, two battles that were actually pretty good. Not, not to say that this wasn't, but still. Uh, 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave my friend code in the in the uh, description. So if you want to add me, just you know post your uh, friend code. And uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and later, folks.